when you're just trying to do good haircuts, you're gonna need some good lighting. So let's talk about the lights because I'm sure you're curious as hell about the next reason why my station is better than yours. Let's go. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the very first episode of Full Send Blends. And uh, that's the new channel name. It used to be YouTube Barber Academy. But this is going to be 10 reasons why my station's better than yours, both for filming and for cutting. But before we get started, the first thing I want to show you, man, is the new heat stroke. So I can just hold this down. And I'm going to click it over to 420. This thing is super, super hot. And as much as I liked the heat stroke, the cordless version, uh, this one is just so much better. It gets hot, it gets hot fast, and I never have to wonder if it's charged or not. So this one's great if I'm traveling, but I'm all done with it, man. This is the real deal heat stroke. And when you got a serious, bur you know, you got a serious burly beard that you need to get straightened out, use the code, Eddie. Save 10%. So the first part of my station, man, that I absolutely love is I love this new chair. This chair is from Barber Pub International. I will be putting the links to everything we talk about down below and it's gonna be an extremely big effort for me to do that. I'll get a little bit of a kickback if you choose to use the links, but that supports the Barber channel, man. So let's get it. Now, one of the things that I really like about the chair is that when you spin your client, if you're filming, you're actually going to notice that the client doesn't move so far side to side. Like they stay pretty much in the center. So you could spin them, you know, 360 degrees and it's a little bit better than some barber chairs that have them moving like five feet away that way and then coming back. And also when you're standing behind the chair, you can get really close to your client because it's like really low profile. So you're not leaning over while you're trying to cut somebody's hair. You're able to actually sit up nice and straight and their head is literally right here, right where you want it to be. And ergonomically, it's just a great feel. So speaking of filming and using the barber chair, now you're gonna notice that I got my camera over here. Now this is a Sony a7S III on the front. I use a 1 8 black Promis filter. Now you're gonna notice that this thing puts off some really, really nice image quality, but it's actually on a nice little, a nice little arm. And that arm is mounted to the wall. Super low profile, makes a lot of sense. One of the problems you're gonna have, you're cutting hair and you're facing your client. You're looking this way, right? And it's shooting over your shoulder, right? But you can't see what you're doing, right? Wrong. This camera, has an app on it that shoots it over to this screen right here. And we're able to see everything we're doing right here on this screen. So I can see if I'm in focus, I can see if I'm getting the video the way I want. And most importantly, I can see if my shoulder is blocking the client, which is something I do not want it to do. The next thing you need to do when you're filming or even when you're just trying to do good haircuts, you're gonna need some good lighting. So let's talk about the lights because I'm sure you're curious as hell about if I go over here, and I make, a, it might make my hand go back and forth, there's no shadow. That's something that I want because I want there to be a nice evenly lit for the background. Something we're gonna talk about in a second. But these lights are the absolute best lights that you can have. I really like having this, this style of dome. I'll put this down below. And uh, this is actually considered a dome light and these are gonna direct your light a little more focused. But what's nice is having them on these mounts, I can move them around. Sometimes I use them to actually show off my products. I can put my products right down on my barber chair like I have in previous videos and I can get some really good shots of those products, but also I can get some really good shots of my clients. So these two lights really make it possible for me to do the most perfect haircuts I can because I'm basically getting light in here that's about as bright as the sun, all right? So when you first walk into my room, all right, you're gonna notice one thing, and there's a hook here, but mainly I actually use the hook for something else. When I'm filming, I put my backgrounds here. So check out this background, man. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. All right. So let's see about this, this background right here. Let's see what happens. All right, we got two different colors. This nice gray. And then, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Soft White Underbelly podcast, but it kind of looks like this. So uh, when did you start working on the corner? Um, I started working on the corner, you know, cutting hair, I was about 16. <laughs> now, nah, but these backgrounds, they can add a nice look to your photos. They can add a nice look to your videos. And I have this color 
and I have uh, another one that's that's red and blue. Okay, drum roll, please. Here we go. This is the coolest background that money can buy because it's a green screen. And this green screen extends to six feet tall. Oh, I'm skiing through the Alps. Oh, I'm cutting hair on the moon. Oh, so using this green screen uh, has been a lot of fun and it's really opened up my content in some different ways. So let's talk about the first thing is the desk. These are Huskies. You can get these at Home Depot. They're like $450 or something. I bought them a long time ago. I have one for every single person in the shop. And this is a great way to utilize space. Obviously we have all these drawers and all of them serve a purpose. Let's talk about the top. What's actually on the very top of my station? So one, we're gonna have our detachable. We're gonna have our Apex because with the Apex, we can also charge the Sabres and the Mythic all with the same thing. So that justifies me having this here. All right, now this is something that's super useful, keeps all my shears up and out of the way, keeps them safe, my crock clips, my color, my Tomb 45 no drip, and uh, my brush. I absolutely love this because it's, it just keeps everything out of the way, and when I need it, I can just slide it over, I could use it, all right? One of my favorite things on my station, you guys think I'm playing, but having a real, true automatic spray bottle but really, why more people don't use this, I don't understand. Do you wanna sit there and keep squeezing your hand until you get carpal tunnel? Or do you wanna push one button and just super soak your client, man? Get it out of the way and get it done with, all right? Next thing, uh, we have our Andis 7-in-1. And this is my, this is kind of like a blade dip, uh, but I use this towards the end of the day, never, never towards the beginning of the day, because I don't wanna get a client all full of grease. And uh, I got my shave gel my Tomb 45 gel, and of course you guys know that I've become a distributor with Level 3, so I have all the Level 3 products too, which is pretty awesome. Uh, some powder and some clipper disinfectant. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, Level 3 has their own clipper disinfectant, which I have right here, and uh, truth is, I have not used it because I'm trying to finish off this one. Let's see, let's see. Uh, does it smell the same? It doesn't smell the same. This actually smells really nice. <laughs> Surprisingly, uh, it smells completely different. It doesn't smell like antiseptic. It almost smells like, like a nice perfume and an antiseptic. <laughs> all right. I usually keep all my guards actually in my, in my slicker vest, uh, but when they're on my table, I actually kind of like this thing because I have my half and my one. These are both from wall, but after that, I go with the gamma dubs. The one and one half, two, the three, uh, these are all double magnetics. So they stick to the back of your clipper. They're really nice and you're not gonna wind up you know, losing a guard. And then we also keep a couple of the detachable guards. So when it comes to detachables, these are the only ones I feel like you need. I use the five zero, I use the three and a half, the two and the one and a half. All my clipper over comb, setting in my skin lines, mostly done with the five zero. And then when clients come in and say they want a one or a two on the back and sides or two on top, it gets it done quick. So that's why I still keep a detachable on my station. And the detachable that I chose uh, still to this day is the Oster Octane with the removable battery. Because the fact that this battery is removable means that this thing is gonna be good for life. If this thing goes, I'll fix it. If anything happens, I'll just buy a new battery. And uh, actually, so I have had one of these for about 10 years back when it was the Oster Volt. And I've got no complaints. These are just a really good, robust, and uh, one of the best detachables in the game. Next thing on the station is going to be the aftershave. Uh, you know we need this aftershave and this one has got a cologne in it as well. We need to put aftershave on our clients when we're done and that's, that's what we do. So, okay guys, that's pretty much it for the top of my station. Uh, I do have a fridge here. I do keep beer in there and uh, water, but mostly beer. And then on top of that, I got my gloves here. Uh, I love these level three gloves, they're fantastic. So I got the red, I got the green, and uh, they really are strong, like they say. My neck strips, I keep them there. And then I got a little fan here, and then when we're teaching, a lot of times I like to use the board, and you can tell that I was. This is open taper, closed taper. So this is, you know, sometimes when I go to explain things, I wanna have this board here. So that's pretty much it for the outside of the station. And it's just super serviceable, very good to use. And then obviously when I'm doing color, I do keep my color gun here. I do keep this clean. 
and I always run a little bit of alcohol through when I'm done. But this is my favorite airbrush of all time. I absolutely love it. It shoots at 30 PSI. I always use Tomb 45 no drip and I never have a problem with this. And speaking of Tomb 45 and speaking of get beamed and all them people, they hooked it up, man. And I'm super, super grateful for this pad. So first things first, they sent me over this mat for free to test it out, to check it out. They were showing some love to the channel. So thank you guys. And I don't have power clips for everything, but just to show you quickly how cool this has been, uh, this is one of the ones that's mainly in my rotation. Obviously I use the FX. I got a gold FX blade on here. And when you're done using it, it's just so cool to be able to set it right down and watch it charge. So all you do is you slide it back to there and bam, it starts charging. So ergos, you know, we always keep a pair of ergos in rotation. This ergo actually has an Oster fast feed blade on it, which is why we got the fast feed guards over here. But once you're done using the ergo, bam, you set it down on here and uh, it'll start charging too. And then I had to go get a wall. I, I don't ever use this. I actually borrowed this from Chad just for this video, but they sent me the power clip for the wall. So I guess I got to get a power clip for the, for the Babyliss. Uh, but I don't really use that too much. Like, to be honest, man, my main workhorse, the best one, my favorite one, is this one right here. And this is how it charges. It, it just charges with a... Oh, it's got a piece of metal from one of my blades on it. This is how it charges. It just plugs into here. And uh, that's it. And so the Fusion Blade is just awesome. But it has this little magnetic, uh, magnetic charger on the back. And that's what's cool. It charges this. And then when I'm using my... When I'm using my Evos, boom. And the more things that I can charge with this, really the better. Uh, I just think it's fantastic. Even though this itself is a charging pad, this will charge actually the wireless charging. I keep all my combs right here in a box. I keep them clean. My color supplies and just like extra stuff that I don't use like all the time, but I need from time to time right there. And that's about it uh, for that drawer. Obviously uh, we got our this is my color drawer. So keep my mirror in here to show my clients the fresh look. I put a bunch of guards in here that I don't really use, but mainly the purpose of this drawer is uh, to house all my enhancements. So I tried some of this level three, uh, but mainly, like I said, I used the Tomb 45. We got some Beijing here. I got some blue hair color. These are a lot of fun. I actually use these a lot. You know, the kids just love these. This is just one day color. All it does is you just spray it in and you can create some really cool looks, get some cool photos. The kids love it. And the parents like it too, because it just washes off. So it's just fun to do. And uh, I keep a color bowl here too, just in case I come in here. And I... All right, so like extra stuff that I'm not using. I got a couple electric shavers in here and uh, mainly just, just uh, some, some film stuff and a couple of gloves. So that's it for that. I, I do have, um, this is actually my probe lens. This is how I get them really up close, uh, detailed shots. Uh, but uh, this thing is something I actually use an awful lot of. This is called a Hot Logic. This is something you can put your food in and uh, it'll actually cook it and it brings it back to life like really nice. And for facials and stuff, we got, we got some of this stuff. I haven't even used any of this yet. A couple extra lights for filming certain circumstances. Uh, and then more, more gloves, a drill, because you never know when you gotta drill somebody. We got to drill something. All right, these are the clippers that are not really in rotation right now, uh, but I still use. So I keep I keep them all nice and like separated in this pod and stuff. And then uh, some of the products that I'm not really using, just you know, just extra stuff. So right here, I don't know what I got an extra I got an extra charging mat. Uh, but right here, this is kind of where I'll do a lot of my. I, I use a lot of this stuff when I do my reviews. So that's like how I, how I take the weight. That's just a scale so I could check the weight of certain clippers. And then that's, that's a, a decibel tester so I could test, you know, how loud they are. So, and that's the Buffalo Bills from 1991. Let's get it. Boom. I guess one of the last things that I forgot to mention on the outside of my station is my blow dryer. Now, this is super small, super low profile blow dryer. And I love the fact that it tucks in right to the side of my station here. And the other thing that really makes this a special place to film in is the fact that I have outlets all over the walls that usually you don't see in the videos but they definitely help me to plug in all this electronical stuff to make all this possible so this is a lot more than 10 reasons why my station might be better than yours but if for some reason you think your station's as good as mine you think you got it you think you got me beat uh, let me know man drop it in the comments uh, let me know and obviously man just just like all things this is a work in progress. 
you know, we got problems. These walls were painted wrong. I've I got holes that I'm still patching, and uh, pretty soon I'm gonna make sure that this is all, that, you know, that this is all really nice. It's really set up ergonomically for the barber by the barber. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is Full Send Blends. That's the new name that we're going with, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. What's up you guys, welcome back. And uh, today I'm gonna show you guys how to do a fade with the cheapest combo. This is the Protege combo. I'm about to unbox it right here. So I was waiting for you guys to do this. Let's get it. First thing we gotta do, let's open it up and let's get it set up. 